Welcome to Observation. This is a game by No Code, a company that made another game called Stories Untold, which I played a couple years ago and really enjoyed. The key for this was provided to me courtesy of GOG, so I'll have a link to where you can buy it from them if you'd like to. Well, I've played for about five minutes just to make sure everything is set correctly, so going into this knowing almost nothing, I do know, however, that we are in control of a space station's artificial intelligence after something has gone catastrophically wrong. Let's begin a new game. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 110, Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Emma Fisher, 140-412. Okay, okay, good. Come on, give me something. Sam, are you there? Respond. So now we can enter response mode, and that we hold down R and then we can point at anything that we can talk about, some sort of like data that we can respond to or a question. I am here. up in module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on module 9? Module 9. Hull in pressure. Module 9, hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. How is the pressure in 9? 
Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false, suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! Controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, the response! What the hell is going on? your self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? I think there's something more going on here than just technical difficulties. Bring her, it said? And we had to accept? It seems like the AI's been hacked. Relocation network error diagnose. Run network check. Module relocation network is non operational. Crew assist required. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay. I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Memory core error. Ninety five percent degradation. main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Crew tracker error. Crew identification network failed tracker power status monitor no oh, connection established location sensor array that's good vitals and life parameter sensors also good just the crew identification network is down the connection between crew tracker functionality and sam os has been severed 
So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. WASD to move camera. Ah! Ooh. Oh, there's a lot here. Um... Oh, we can zoom with the scroll wheel. Q and E to switch cameras. Hold on. Uh... Wait, I can't seem to zoom in, though. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Oh, that's really cool. It doesn't just instantly switch, but it shows you, like, it shows you this transition thing that gives you a sense of where you are and where you're moving to in the room, so it's not so disorienting. That's Great. really cool. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a System Links Reset Procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Ah, it's been unlocked. It was locked before, that's why it wasn't working. Ooh, we can zoom in really close. Sam OS Procedure System Link Reset shows terminal input code that allows a crew member to reset Sam's system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning, this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station-wide, only perform after a full reset. Does that say press X to go back? So I'm pressing X. Okay. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. It was tab that allowed me to go back, by the way. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, I just want to stop for a second and just say how cool this game is. Oh my god, I love it so far. This is exactly my thing. I love game set in space. I love being on spaceships. I love being in control of an AI or some sort of like observer looking through cameras and messing around with codes and commands rather than directly being in the environment. It's so cool. And they've done such a great job with it too. Like selling this feeling of being uh, a relatively rudimentary artificial intelligence with all of this just bunches of data and distortions all over the screen from connections being degraded and broken. I love it. I freaking love it already. Ah, this reminds me of an old game I played long ago. Experiment? Or no, ex Experiment 112? Experience 112? What was the name of that game? It had different names in different regions. Oh yeah, it was called Experience 112, and in some regions like North America it was called The Experiment. It was a very strange and not very good game, but really interesting because you controlled everything through cameras, kind of like this. You weren't an artificial intelligence, but the only way you could interact with stuff was through cameras and data and access to computer systems. Anyway. We're looking for... I forgot, to be honest. I'm more interested in figuring out what all this stuff is. F to possess sphere, if available. What's the sphere? Doesn't work. That doesn't work yet. I don't think that's been unlocked yet. Response mode, that works. It's just status screen. If I hold O, which is what I'm holding right now. And then up for system links? Like up arrow or... Is 
Sphere Modification Bay. Combustion unit. CO2 refill station. I love it. Everything has a name. Everything has a purpose, because of course it does. It's the space station. Hatch control. Add system link. Oh, so I can connect to it. Two, three, four. We've paired Good. with it. Looks like that's working. Add another. Hold on. We can open the hatch and schematic. Mm, schematic isn't working. Opening worked. Laptop. Okay. Now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Mm, first I want to look at this. No, that's not good. Sphere's best practice. W and S to cycle the entries. There's only one entry. You can select it. Sphere's best practice. Guidance spheres. Uh, development control of microgravity guidance spheres on observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Operator interface for guidance spheres can be found through a graphical user interface that can be located at crew member workstations and is a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still at the experimental stage. Hmm, it's a planned upgrade to the SAM system. Has it... have we been upgraded yet? Yeah, I don't know why it says X to disconnect. It's tab. Oh yeah, there's one of the spheres. Probably need to switch cameras. I love how easy they make it to figure out where you are spatially. I want to read that note. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. There's two laptops I just realized. I can't connect to that one, though. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Has everyone gone? Oh shit. Uh, okay, station alert, station alerts. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. I 
Enter the same OS system any time by pressing space. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Oh, we got a fire? Oh, this is a lot to try to take in all at once while we're also looking for a fire. Uh, well, there's a little icon down here, EAS3. I think that might be where it is. Is it? Maybe not. I guess I just need to go to each one. Eight. I hear a noise. Ah! Oh, is that... Like, I hear like a sparking noise. Oh, I think that's just that. I think it's just a light. I don't think it's a fire. Okay. Six. Just one camera. Not here. Five. Four. Ah, found it. There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way! You can follow them as they go. Oh, that's so cool! That is so cool. I love that. You need help with that? Sam? Yep, on it. The hatch in EAS 6 is locked down. Can you get it open for me? It's open. I'm on my way. Relocate to EAS 3. I'll need your help when I get there. Four hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Is it on the other side? Yes. override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? One. Two. That's it. Come on! Sam! <coughs> Get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. Vent fumes in four. Uh, how do I do that? Environment sensor? Hatch control. Can I do it from here by any chance? Can I relocate there? 
I look at our memory core. I don't know what that's about. Anyway. I'm trying, Dr. Fisher. I'm a very new artificial intelligence. I'm only like a month old. I'm a I'm baby. Oh, that's the extractor vents? Okay. Said it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? Report the damage. Do we do that from within? I think so. The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. started it. What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Several of the storage lockers have been severely damaged by the fire. Good to know. Can you find the source of the fire, though, please, Sam? Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. And there is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on! What now? Sam, give me a status report. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please, respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. 1442 uh, could you say that again? Come on! I'm trying. Authorization 144241332429034199. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. I think I got it now. Ah, if you fuck. Don't fire them in the correct order, the module might tear off. Ah, I see. Okay, I get it now. I hope to God anyone was in there. I hope to suit on. Sam. We've stopped spinning. Stabilized. I think. I think we're okay. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Or what's left of it. The signals are weak and distorted. 
We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? CN arm is badly damaged. Oh God, May. It looks intact though. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Yeah, we're at Saturn. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking aliens. Weird goop. Bring her. Hacked AI. Uh, teleportation, it would seem. Super cool intro. The 
Mary started your core systems. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. And anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so... I'll come back. Okay, first off... Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay. Okay. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so... I'm gonna try something different here. Okay. That's audio, at least. Almost there. Just a sec. Okay, Sam, I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices, like laptops. There. Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Good. Good. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. What should I speak about? I can't repeat last command. Test sphere response mode. I'm trying. Ah. Connection sphere is offline. Okay, great. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. Tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Great. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right. So, the rest of the station is dark, and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board, the EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. Access EAS-1. Oh, there's so much to do and get used to. Oh my god. Okay, but I, I think this right here is probably a really good place to end. Otherwise, I'll end up playing for five more hours and finish the game. 
So I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. I love it. I absolutely love it so far. So I'll see you on the next episode.